Hey guys, what's up? Okay, this video is going to be mostly informational. It's going to be for the players that want to improve in ranked. Uh, it's going to. I'm going to talk about the perks that you need to use. I'm going to talk a bit about how to play as infected as an innocent, about the current meta, and everything. Right, so you guys can improve. Maybe so I can give you another take on it. And yeah, as myself, I have already 2,000 hours in the game. I'm almost prestige 20. I have every like I have a gold item right now. I'm current top top eight without not trying as much. So yeah, it's not that hard once you understand what to do in rank. It's just like repetitive and just like as as people say like muscle memory, right? And it's in this case in this case mind memory. But yeah, so right now what I'm currently using is slasher, which is a must in rank. You need to use slasher siphon. And the third one that, that can vary it uh, is critical thinking. You can also use get up, you can use many different packs. I'm going to show you guys um, which are the most the better ones. Uh, right? So okay. As for the as for your uh, ultimate perk slot, I like to use localized. But you can also use pit pocket, you can also use engineer. You can also use even a dictator. You can also use uh, there is a good one. Um, yeah, I think those ones are the are the best ones, right? Okay, so localized allows you to see to see every single item in in every single stage. So it's really good, right? It gives you consistency. So as infected, you can go for the shotgun, for the armor, for the antidote. And you can try to break it, and as innocent, you can go for the camera first. So it's really consistency. It's, it's based on consistency. Engineer, it also, it's also really good because, first of all, as innocent, it allows you to repair shotgun and take it if someone breaks it, uh, or also as, as infected, that can also happen. You can repair the antidote. You can repair many things which are going to be beneficial for you. As innocent, as an infected, because in infected, what usually people do is break the second shotgun, right? Or break the armor. You can infect it and take it. So that's also a really interesting thing. You can also, what you can also do is, if you are in a 1v1 situation or 2v1 at night and the innocent, uh, at the third stage and the innocents break the little, you can repair it. Or in a 1v1 situation, you can break it and if you try, uh, in, and if you kill the enemy nearby, you can repair it and take the little. So yeah, engineer. It's it's not that bad actually, as infected and also as innocent. It can be beneficial in both ways. Uh, the, the the other one is pit pocket, of course. As infected, it makes sense, but also in some scenarios, as innocent, when the infected take the take the antidote on the way, or, or when they take a shotgun, you can steal it from them. So it's really good. But of course, as as infected, it works perfectly in the second stage when the innocents take shotgun. You can steal it. So as innocent, when you try to take shotgun in the second stage, the best scenario will be if you try to take another item just to prevent that pickpocket action. Uh, and the and dictator, it's going, it's it's being more popular right now. When you play in good lobbies, it can be very good. Maybe when you play against top 100, it's not that much. But 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 when you play in good lobbies against like five or four, or or four people in top 10, uh, there is. Some 1v1s, maybe in one one out of 25, 30 matches, there is a 1v1 situation and you can win as infected or innocent. So yeah, so that this one can win you matches, right? But maybe localized or pit poker are the most consistent ones. Engineer is not it's not also it's not bad by the way. You can it you can you can use that as well. As for the the perk slots. Of course, Siphon and Slasher are a, are a no-brainer, right? Slasher, you need 100%. Siphon, it regains the some of your HP when you win a fight and when you knock someone. So Slasher, of course, you need it because Slasher, just it's insane at the moment. It's insane, both as infected and innocent. And with the terror sense, you can really camp out some corners. Uh, it's, it's really good because you can shoot once and then knife and that's it. Uh, Siphon is really good as well because it it gains some of your so HP back when you kill someone, and the third one can be the one that is going to be like swap swap up uh, depending your your situation, right? Okay, so you of course you can use get up, get up. It's a nice one because you can revive your teammate in a really fast 
way and uh, it can use both as innocent and infected. Uh, GetUp mostly, I think, it's going to work mostly in Arctic, in my in my opinion, because Arctic is a small map, so you have a lot of these close range slasher fights, and GetUp it might really work for you. Now, in my opinion, I don't like GetUp because I try to rely on my PvP most of the times, and I like to play and I to I like to play more separate when I'm infected from my teammate, so I don't like GetUp, but. Uh, it's a really good perk if you know how to use it. It it doesn't rely on your PvP. You can just pick up and fight again, pick up, fight again, and so on. Uh, the other one, which is, I mean, get up for example in forest. Get up. I don't think I don't, I don't see a point to use get up in forest. It needs to be used in smaller maps, right? Uh, the other one, which is really nice, it's going to be critical ticking. As, as, as I said, I use it mostly because it gives you a 20% extra damage when you hit targets in the head. It, it is also works in terrors. In terrors, you can kill a terror with 9 bullets, with critical ticking is 7 in the head, so it also gives you a, a extra damage there, and it helps on, on your enemies and mostly on armors, it just laser armors. So I like it because of that. But uh, I'm trying to use now sometimes uh, the one which gives you more bullets. Sleight of hand, don't, don't use it. I mean. Uh, one year, uh, one year ago, people were using this this setup, but we discovered that slide of hand is no use. I mean, you can just reload. It's of course it gives you some advantage, but there is no use. So in in my scenario, in my in my case, it's 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 no it's a no go. So um, I mean, free refill can be useful, but any 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 one that gives you bullets, it's also good. Because on the higher lobbies in the top tens, everyone gets it goes for bullets, and in forest or larger maps, sometimes you are with zero, and if you are with zero bullets as infected, you are in a really bad spot. So there is one that gives you bullets uh, when when you are when you are when you die. I don't know what it is, but yeah, let me try to find it if I can see which one is. Overpower, it's good when you're innocent, maybe if you're getting targeted a lot, you can get three, three, three cameras, but doesn't mean much. Little Vicious, it's a no-go. Let me see where it, where it is. Okay, no, Bandolier is not good. Well, okay, I don't know where it is. Let's take a charm, maybe. Where the fuck is it? Let me try to find it, because I can't I can seem to find it. Mm, scavenger, right? Yeah, scavenger. Not, not, not. It's not bad for lasher maps, but yeah. I mean, it all depends on what do you want to use. I mean, I don't know. It, it, it's, it depends on you, right? But usually, what I rock is that you can use also get up, of course. And for this one also, stakeout is not a bad idea, as innocent. Not a bad idea at all. First of all, it it, it lets it, it, it lets know the other innocents that you're probably ninety percent innocent, right? Because this only works for as innocent. The infected doesn't let you see you. And if you if you manage to perfect that crouching, crouch shoot and stuff like that, you can maybe sneak on some of the infected, and that's a really good idea. Also, when you have antidote, you can they can see you. You you can maybe come some blood. So it's not but it's not a bad idea to use takeout if you know how to use it. Okay, then I'm going to do something, which is I'm going to show how to play as infected and as as innocent, uh, for you guys to start to win matches, right? So for the top ten, the most ideal situation it's of course to play as much as you can, but to win the infected matches. If you can win the infected matches, that's going to make a differential for you. Um, in some scenarios, that's going to be impossible, but if you can win as more as most as infected matches as possible, it's going to put you in a good position near the top of the of the ladder. Okay, I have some games here which I'm going to show you guys. It's it's most easy, right? So here I'm infected, right? I am playing against uh, top two top tens and two top one hundreds. I think I can see right. Yeah, man. okay. Two two bad ones, but two top tens, right? Okay. 
I'm going to lower the volume a bit, so it's not too invasive. Okay. Okay. So the main idea, as infected, right? When you start, when you start the game, it's to go for armor. Also to take, to take. If you cannot find an armor, shotgun, or antidote, try to get camera traps. Try to get, try, try to get some of the light items too. So the, so the, the innocents don't take them, right? Okay. But the, 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 the best idea. It's for you to get armor, shotgun, if you can antidote, and 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 and, and things like that for you to to be better in the second stage. So everything is going to be is going to prepare you for the second stage stage, which is when the shooting is going to come, right? The current meta, it's not about long plays, it's not about role play, it's not it's a bit a bit framing, but not much, right? So the current meta is just like drink at the last seconds. Try to down some of their armor and try to kill the antidote guy or get antidote. As simple as that. Last fuse on me. Can you... So my teammate here tells me that he has the last fuse. So Lisa's guy is trying to take a trap. I see 39 seconds, which if he breaks fuse is nine seconds. I just down him oh. and go for the and go for the oh, it's, uh, on, for on, the on. blood. Break this, break this. I wait a bit. Break, 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 break. He breaks at the perfect time for me to get one more. So we have already one kill in a few seconds, right? The main idea of this is try to do it, try to drink or, or break an item or whatever it is at, at, at a time that you cannot get shooting back or, you, or, or people cannot break your armor or you cannot get boated. So try to time that perfectly. If you don't time it perfectly, I see, I see that a lot of people died with four boats or it's like. 18 seconds delay, they get knocked out, they lost their armor, and if they can do it just like a few seconds later, it's going to work perfectly. Here we know that Nina, Nina, right? Nina has anti, so of course Nina I don't go is. for Lisa, and we go to try to find Nina. And we see Nina right here, and we just kill Nina with antidote, so that's one of the top 10s already dead, and then we just go for the for the second stage i have armor come to me my team has also armor so i just try to down lisa so he spawns a bit later and we get a free entrance and one free free fuse to break and then we just we just go for the fight we just take two v ones with terror sense And yeah, and now once once everyone is down, you have time to break one or two Alex fuses, Alex yes, we or to get a shotgun or armor. Doubt. Get our shotgun if you can. I'm I break fuse, I drank a bit, he's going to get shotgun, he's trying to get armor I think upstairs. Oh, no. this is I try to support him. We go for one more knock, we go for a fight here. And we get the we get the win. It was a bit messy, but we get the win. Usually, when you down uh, the the innocence twice, I mean, when you down each twice, it's already over. The, not not much, not much they can do. That's already GG because you go for the three break fuses and you have 30 seconds left. So you have 20 seconds left, and the only thing you need to do is waste a bit of time, play a bit more strategically, drank a bit more, so you can get maybe two kills. Since Arctic is a small map, you can get uh, two kills usually in the second stage. Don't get knocked. If you drank everything, you just down Rachel. Lisa here downs me. Can you, can you knock him? But luckily, my team is surely here to get the refrag, right? So that's another thing. Usually, you need to communicate more with the teammate. Here, I was a bit cocky, but usually, if Lisa downs me, he, my teammate should get the refrag on, on Lisa. Both. Why are you placing a trap? What? But luckily, here, I don't die. Okay. And we just clean up and we just. Get we didn't get two kills, but we got one, and then we just I got a shotgun, he covered me, and we just go for the cleanup, right? So that's the as infected, you should do that here in the next match. Um, I'm playing with Ivory, he's also top 10, so it should be an easy match, not that easy because we have also kicks, we have Shona Shag, we have uh, traps, so it's not that easy, but it's the same, it's the same situation, right? You start the game, World Cup. Yes. World Cup. Of course, you don't spawn drink. Sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't. So you need to be careful. You break some fuses. You try to see with localize what's in the map, what's taken, what's not. Get some bullets. That's really important. 
here we see Nina is taking anti. Is no one taking anti? Oh no, okay. Nina, I go for Maramo. So I call to my teammate Nina Ante. Nina, Ante, I think. Okay. Nina armor, by the way. If you can break it, it's good. So here I tell my teammate, break his armor so we can easy get an easy hit and an easy, easy kill of Nina. I go for the trash. That's a very interesting altercation. Usually you can get away with slashing once the armor of the innocents. Um, so they, they don't want to say anything. Wait, Hans drink. Hans. Okay. Yeah, so Hans, what Hans, I do Hans. here is I, think he I get some easy shots. So I break Alex's armor. And I go for the second second chance, second chance. Okay, some okay. One second. My teammate also drinks. So we have one kill. And then it's just knowing where is Nina. Mm, Nina or Lisa? Or Rachel? <laughs> no, I don't know. I we see Nina camping here. I, 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 I forgot. No, no, Nina, Nina, Nina. So if, of course it's Nina in this, in this situation. So we go for the kill. We kill Nina pretty sure. Yeah, we kill Nina. We see Rachel has shot one. Uh, since I don't have armor, neither ivory, we just play a bit more together. We take advantage of terror shooting through the walls. Would you get two knocks? Refill some ammo, get some blood. Already 7 seconds and 10 each, which is going to allow us to break one more or take a 1v2 situation against Rachel and then break 3. And 1 HP. It's also important to tell your teammate so your situation with in the ammo, in your health, so he knows what to do. If I'm low HP, maybe he's going to play a bit more passive, not to pick that much. Also, it's good to tell your teammate you don't have get up, so he doesn't get knocked that often, because if he gets knocked, it's going to be really hard for me to get a revive, right? Uh, I am Usually when you play without get up, it's to play that you're not going to die at the second stage. And if you die, you're going to win that PvP and then revive without no one close or near your area. We cast, we cast one more boat in Rachel. Here we take a 1v1 situation. I get low HP, so I wait a bit for my teammate. My teammate goes here, so I just trust on him. And I went for the break fuse and the HP back. Boat again for more time. Try to play 1v2 uh, with my teammate, don't be too cocky. Get a 1v2 situation. Oh, uh, Hans one shot. Then we wait one more. Good job. And that's it. Good Once you knock each you of them it? twice, no, we, just, we just win the game. No. I, I, track the, I track the best uh, possible or the, or, 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 the, or the best threat, right, for the third stage. So I track Lisa. Uses oh, and then Alex just mistakenly shoots his teammate, and this is just a, a win, right? Usually, I mean, usually when when you're infected and no, and you have anti, and your teammate has shotgun, usually you can go for the for the for the biggest stress on the on the second stage, right? So you get an easy an easy match. I don't usually do that, but you can of course do it. Of course, if someone has shotgun, you target him. If he has anti, you go for him. But then it's if you are really tryharding for the ladder, it's 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 not that bad to do that, right? Okay, here we go for a win. Here is another another really good lobby. We have top eight, four, one, nine, and I'm it's me. I'm nine and two and twenty. See here, it's also good to know what everyone has because if you're infected and you see that Lisa has engineer, maybe you should take the antis of breaking it. If you if someone has dictator, you should remind that. Uh, for for the third stage and stuff like that, right? Here again, I'm infected with Lisa, right? So I am I am here with the with the with the with the with the, 20, with the top twenty, which in this case uh, it's 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 a really it's it's a it's a good player, but uh, it's not at the level of the top tens, right? But still, the scenario is the same. You're going to play for the same, which is uh, trying to drink. I take, I take camera, I take the armor, <gasps> he slashed me once, but it's okay, I'm not going to complain, if I complain too much, they're going to know that I'm, I'm, I'm infected. So, the main idea is the same, right? We wait a bit. That feels yeah. reasonably back there. Uh, Lisa goes for the, yeah, for the anti, so I know I can drink 
no knowing that he has the antidote. I try to get also traps so no one takes it. Traps are really annoying in this game. And then I just wait. I'm putting down fuse. I mean, I'm putting down traps. What are you looking at? Here, Alex knows that I'm a bit sus because I'm just next to the block looking at it, so it's a bit sus. Nina innocent, I think. But yeah, yeah here, Nina Lisa goes for the drink. He gets down, but I just go Lisa, also for Lisa. the drink. And then we just go on one kill and we just can kill anyone we want. Uh, Alex has shotgun. Alex, my teammate, my teammate tells me I have shotgun, so of course I go for Alex. Also, a big, a big idea. You, I need a big, uh, a big mechanic. It's not a mechanic. It's clear. It can be. Just try to when someone has torch, just try to jump and, and 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 place the terror backwards so it doesn't hit you. So you can do that a few times. It's called skipping or uh, skipping. I just call it skipping, right? So you just go for easy kill. There we kill Alex. Oh, we, start, armor. we need to break armor. I think. You start to slash a few, a few more armors. I just go for Nina here. And here I just play a bit more separate for my team. Upstairs, upstairs. I just go for a fuse. Again, it's it's pretty similar, right? I just go for bullets. My teammate comes from above, so I just try to get a fight on hand. Wait, what? Oh, he's behind us. I'm not checking. Yeah, over there, over there. I die here. Okay, here it, it gets a bit messy. This guy's a mortal and valorant. Because my teammate, I, I died too. He's crazy. But luckily, Hans cannot be revived on time, so I just oh, get away yeah. with it. I can um, But uh, here we lose, right? But this happens, right? And you're not going to win every single effective of a game, right? But the, the, the strategy is the same. You play like oh, the same. Probably at the fuse near something. Still, if you're alone, you stay to the same. Yes. You get an isolated fight. Second. He's 1 HP. Oh no, he has 2 HP now. He has Siphon, oh. Siphon. He's gonna break. He broke, he broke. You play with the... With the, with the Terror Sense. Oh. oh, you have your... And yeah, here I got unlucky and Rachel had armor, right? Because he went for armor. But maybe if he don't, he don't have armor, maybe I can kill him. But you see here, I just wasted everything, right? I didn't have more bullets. So that's something to keep in mind of. And when you're innocent, it's actually the opposite. You maybe maybe you can go for the shotgun or break it. You should help those In this guy, shot the fuck up. I go for I break his shotgun. I just try to get armor, black. Okay, just try to get some items. I have a red camera. You can cap camp blood. But they're going to do the same. They're going to drink until the last seconds. So even if you can blood, what? Maybe what you can do is just try to down someone when they drink and and get some and get some and get you some, more, some seconds, but it's the same, right? You just come come I'm blood. blood. Oh. He slashed me once. It's okay. Chang's yeah, infected. Chang. Chang. Oh yeah. Ha ha. I'm ready too. Uh, Nina says Chang's infected, so Rachel downs him. Oh, oh, my, oh, oh my, I'm not doing anything. Just down. Just down. Just down. Just down. Okay. That's fine. I just keep watching blood. I just go for a podcast so he just he takes a few more seconds on the ground and then we just do this the, the important thing usually you should remember where everyone is so if someone transforms you know who it is but usually people is going to tell you who it is at, at, the, at the, as soon as the second stage initiates so yeah we just try to do fuses do not do not hide do not hide it doesn't matter if there's one kill do not hide, do the fucking fuses, right? Because there is so many people hiding when there is a kill. Don't hide, do the fuses. If you die, you die, but don't hide. Unless you have antidote, of course. If you have antidote or shotgun, okay, you can hide. But if you don't, don't hide. Even if you get target, it's part of the game, right? So here, I lose the armor really stupidly. I should have... Here, the spider, I, I, I just don't, I, I don't know what I was doing. But yeah, mm, uh, in a sense. so here Alex uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's Lisa Chang. Chang, no? I go for the shotgun. Piano. Remember, I go for a shotgun, right? If you can see at the start of the video, we see that. Uh, let me see if I can see, right? 
Eh, Chan has pit pocket and Lisa has localized. So here I take a big risk without. I didn't get a second item. But since Nina and Alex were fighting, and the direction was kitchen shooting to piano, I went to the sneak up and went behind them. And as you see, I just get both of them from behind. I down Chan, and then I down Lisa. So yeah, as innocent, it's just simply that. Just do the opposite as infected. Uh, watch blood. Uh, maybe try to activate antidote so that is so they don't break it. Just grab, instead of grabbing anti, just go for anti. Just take make the objectives and just leave it there for someone to grab. So at least it's not broken. And if that guy doesn't revive, you know who it is already in the second stage. There is not many long games in ranked. There is not many role plays. Maybe there is a few frames, but most mostly as innocent, do not make big mistakes. That's it. If you don't make big mistakes, then it's Everything's going to be fine. And as infected, try to capitalize on the mistakes of the of the innocence. That's there is not much much more to talk about uh, in rank in this game. In Russian, uh, it's a bit a bit different because in Russian uh, they can shoot some some of the times also in English they can shoot a bit earlier. Maybe when there is one minute left or something like that, they can start shooting on the first stage. So you need to be careful. Maybe they play a bit more aggressive. But in Russia, there is not any role plays. Hardly there is any frames and there is zero long game. So in Russia, it's a bit more of, of, of shooting, right? Because there is more people with, with better aim. So yeah, in Russia, it's a bit more difficult in that sense. But it's, it's pretty much the same. Play happy hour so you get a, a bit more elo. Try to know when the top 10s play so you can get most elo out of it. And yeah, and just enjoy and have fun. That's it. If you guys have any questions, just hit me up. Uh, I will try to, to start to analyze other games that people send me, maybe, so I can just have fun with that. And yeah, and that's it, guys. So see you uh, in the next time. Bye-bye.